Let's review Sweat Taylor's All In Pants. Welcome back to Life in My Shoes reviews and such. As the intro indicated, I'm going to be doing a review of the Sweat Taylor All In Pants. So per the norm, let me tell you a little bit about the purchase, then I will tell you a little bit about the product, then I will tell you about my thoughts and opinions on the product about the purchase. As I mentioned, I purchased the Sweat Tailor All-In Pants. I purchased these used, although they do retail for $108. I purchased them in French Gray, which is the name that uh, Sweat Tailor has for them, and I purchased them in the size 36-34. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the product as described by Sweat Tailor. The Sweat Taylor All-In Pant have a 4.9 star rating out of 519 reviews. Sweat Taylor describes the All-In Pants as sweat number one best. We threw every piece of tailoring, comfort, style, and design at these pants so you can wear them anywhere, seriously anywhere, every day, everywhere. The All-Ins retail at 108 are an all, and are offered in a variety of sizes and colors. The All-In are styled in a five pocket jean style with top entry pockets. They fit regular through the seat and thighs with a slightly tapered fit below the knees to the leg opening. Sweat Taylor recommends selecting one waist size down from your regular waist size. The pants are pre-shrunk. The all-ins are made of 100% Supreze, which is a 96 to 4% cotton to spandex blended fabric by Sweat Taylor. It is custom engineered with four-way stretch material that recoils and rebounds. The all-in features a zippered right back pocket, reinforced belt loops to untuck or buckle and dress it up, extra comfort and added stretch in the waistband, and a zip fly. Now let's talk about my thoughts and opinions. I want to talk about them in five categories, which are style, fit, materials, features, and then overall. For style, I would call these a cross between a jean and a khaki. They are material-esque of more of a khaki, but they are styled more like a jean with the top access pockets. Regarding fit, these are not a slim pant. I believe Sweat Taylor offers slim on the site, but I did not purchase slim, so be aware. These are not slim, although they are a bit streamlined and as advertised, kind of tapered down from the knees. They are more of a jean fit because of the top access pockets, but more of a khaki fit in the material. Sizing down in the waist as advertised by Sweat Taylor is a 100% priority. These were large in the waist uh, as the video showed and I would definitely recommend that you size down. I did feel that because of the sizing challenges of sizing down a size in the waist that these fit a little baggier. Now that could be the styling, that could be a product of the fact that the waist is too large, but they did seem to fit a little baggier. Another thing is that I have learned that I am basically not a 3634. I am probably more accurately a 3633. And what that means is when I buy 3634, because most uh, stores do not carry a 3633, that I do have bunching of the fabric at the ankles. And you'll see that in the video that played earlier. From a materials perspective, these are what I would call polyester E. Uh, so they are very poly polyester E in materials. And what the, the byproduct of that is they are super stretchy. So these are probably uh, in the stretchiest of all of the athleisure pants I've ever purchased with the comparable being uh, the public rec all day, every day. This is another material that is super stretchy, almost excessively stretchy. I often describe uh, some of these athleisure pants as having a restrained stretch, which you know that you can move in them, but it just like isn't uh, wide open. These I feel are wide open, just like the ADED pants. They're just super stretchy and the video showed just how stretchy they are. 
from a features perspective, they are pretty much standard with what the features are. So these do come with the zippered back pocket, just one, which is on the right side, which is a typically where I personally carry my wallet and where I would continue to carry my wallet. So it is a double pocket with a zipper in the back and then a pocket in the front. So you can get multiple things in there. Uh, it has belt loops and it also has a zip fly. I call those out because some of the athleisure pants did not offer those. So I think it's important to call those out. What I will say is from a belt loop perspective, the belt loops are made out of the same material as the pant. So that super stretchiness is also in the belt loop. So that belt has a lot of play in those belt loops because it's made of that same stretchy material, which I, I actually don't like because it doesn't feel like it secures definitely with the waist being overly sized. I don't feel like my belt is doing a good job and kind of seated well to kind of hold the pants in place. Finally, what's my overall opinion of these pants? One, they're super comfortable. They breathe, so I have bought them at the end of the summer heading into the fall. They do breathe very well. I do like the color gray that I got. It is kind of a neutral that will go with anything. Uh, they are uh, super, super stretchy, so just be mindful of that. That I prefer, I'm learning that I prefer the more of a restrained stretch. I like that the pants have the potential but I don't like it demonstrated so obviously as it is in these pants. Uh, per the website, I would say the sizing of the waist is spot on. You do need to size down a full size in the waist. As I mentioned, when I talked about the features, the belt loops are made out of the same material as the pants, which means that the belt loops are super stretchy and the belt just kind of has a lot of room to play there. And that can contribute to not feeling super secured around the waist. The all-in pant is comparably priced to a lot of the more premium athleisure pants. So I wouldn't say they're any more, I wouldn't say they're any less. They fit right there in that spectrum with all the other athleisure pants. There you go, that is the all-in pant by Sweat Taylor. What do you think? Have you worn the Sweat Taylor pants? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below and I'll be back soon with hopefully another pant review.